Check, check, check. Testing one, two, check. Hello, dear friends, and welcome to Hollywood Elite Wrestling. Uh, good evening, everybody. Welcome. This is certainly an exciting time of year. If you are subscribed to my channel, then you know that I've already done an overview for Legends of Wrestling Expansion 7, and I just posted, just moments ago, an unboxing of um, Legends Expansion 7. I say unboxing, but it's really unenveloping. But who searches for unenveloping? Uh, so I did a, um, uh, I want to make sure that this is not too loud. It's not. Okay, great. Uh, hey everybody, welcome. I did an unenveloping of Legends Expansion 7 and the quarter one for, uh, Legends Prime. So if you want to see those were, I, I also posted the spoilers of what the, uh, Legends Promoter Prime cards were in, on the message board. So if you want to check those out, they're awesome. I'm a little... Well, I'm not going to say anything. I don't want to spoil it for anybody if anybody hasn't seen it. Thank you for coming. We've got a great, great uh, lineup tonight. Um, and uh, I do want to give a special shout out to all the Patreon patrons. Um, later this week, I will be changing this image all around because I'll update it for um, for April. So if you would like to become a patron, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash Saturday, uh, Saturday morning media. Huge shout out to all these folks, especially Dorothy Pachoco, Eve Cunning, Kathy Crawford, Tony Urbano, David Akers, Jamie Don Meyer, and Vicky Sebring. Okay, we got a huge card tonight. Um, we've got the final blow off match between the two gentlemen you see on either side of me, Mass Superstar versus Jack Briscoe. But before that, we've got some matches we need to get through. And uh, we are going to get through our opening match is going to be Mildred Burke versus Trish Stratus. Um, a request was made to do more women's matches and more tag team matches. So I'm trying to include one of each on every card. There could be more. Uh, not tonight, but uh, there could be more. So here we go. Let's roll for some initiative here. And Mildred Burke versus Trish Stratus. These two, uh, I believe, faced in the uh, gauntlet of legends that we did. So this is a little bit of a rematch. Uh, but Mildred Burke will start things off just barely. Look at that. She got an 11 and uh, the other roll is a 10. So a snap mare one. Uh, Mildred, you're going to need a little bit more than that to take care of Trish. Trish reverses it on level two. Hits a, a licking knife edge chop two. Hurt two. Uh, hanging choke in corner two. 
Hurt 2. Trish looking for big moves here. Spinebuster 3. There you go. Down 3. Leave the ring. Mildred Burke is going to roll out of the ring. Grabs Trish Stratus by the leg. Drags her out. Smashes her into the turnbuckle post. Big reversal. Mildred Burke now rolling on level 3. Out of the ring. Uh, yeah, her ring is a B. Yeah, sure. She'll, she'll throw her out of the ring. Uh, the opponent comes out of the ring to continue the fight, but you grab her. Smash her onto the announce table. Oh no, Trish Stratus is going to have to roll her DQ here and she is not DQ'd and she will roll on level three offense and hits a handstand spinning head scissors two hurt two uh and uh spine buster three uh, they're oh, rolling the pin the target will be a two and the roll is a three she barely kicks out mildred burke barely gets able is able to kick out trish rolls on level three hits the chick kick uh for a three hurt two uh, hanging choke in corner two. Mildred Burke now reversing it on level two. Can Mildred Burke make a comeback? She desperately needs it here. Choice F. Uh, let's see. Power is what she wants, and that's what she's going to use. So this will work. This running lariat will work on a roll of seven or less. And the roll is a seven, so it does work. Uh, level three defense. And now Trish is rolling her pin. The target a two. The roll a six. One fatigue token for Trish. Mildred Burke now in control and uh, tosses Trish. Well, wait, hold on a second. I want to see what her stats are. Yeah, she'll throw her out of the ring. Tosses her out of the ring. The opponent comes out of the ring and a wild brawler erupts. The wrestler, the wrestler with the better ring rating wins. That's going to be Mildred Burke. And she's going to roll on level three offense. Alligator clutch. She locks it in here. The target will be a seven. The roll is a nine. So Trish not submitting. Uh, going to going to uh, happen right there. And uh, Trish Stratish now at a uh, two fatigue. Mildred Burke hits the jumping knee for uh, choice E. So Scorpion Deathlock, that would work on a six or less. She's going to try the Power Slam, which will work on a nine or less. And she tries it, and a roll is an eight. So it does work. Trish rolls on level two defense and reverses it on level one. What a great opener here. Suplex two power. Uh, Mildred Burke has the power, so she reverses that, rolls on level two offense, and hits a big forearm uppercut. Three catches Trish. Trish is down. Will Trish leave the ring? Normally, I don't have faces leave the ring, but uh, I'm going to have her leave the ring. She rolls out of the ring. The opponent crushes her with a big spectacular move outside the ring. We're going to roll count out here. Rolling the count out and the target is four. The roll is a six. So no count out, but Trish now at three fatigue. Mildred rolling on level three offense locks in a full Nelson and hurt two there. Mildred Burke uh, hits the grinding face lock. Choice F. She is going to try for this running lariat that'll work on a seven or less. And the roll is a four, so it does work. Uh, and hurt two there for Trish. Mildred keeping up the pressure here. Hammerlock two. Hurt two. Uh, uh, Mildred solidly in control here. She's going to try. Oops, I rolled. I clicked the wrong thing there. She's going to try that running lariat one more time. going to. Target is a 7. The roll is a 10. So Trish uh, will reverse it there and hits forearm smashes 2 on Mildred Burke. Mildred Burke, though, shakes off those forearm smashes and rolls body scissors 2. It's a power move, so that will work. And Trish Stratus now shakes off that, hits a hanging choke in the corner 2. Wow. Hurt 2. Trish now in control. Can she stay in control here? Choice B. So choice B is going to be a standing drop kick. Ooh. Or into the turnbuckle. I think she's going to go. She's going to toss her into the turnbuckle. Uh, she's crushed by a big kick. Trish will roll on level two offense. Hits Air Canada three. And her two. Spinebuster three. Her two. Trish really keeping the pressure on here. Licking knife edge chop two. Hurt two. Spinebuster three. Hurt two. Air Canada three. Big move after big move here from Trish. And bicycle kick choice B. And uh, she's going to throw... Uh, yeah, because her agilities that would work on a six or less. She's going to throw her into the turnbuckle again. And it's a reversal. And Mildred Burke throws Trish into the turnbuckle. And uh, Trish bounces forward and... Uh, 
and catches the opponent with a skull splitting lariat and she goes down hard mildred burke rolling on level three defense hurt two great reversal there by trish spinebuster three hurt two trish can't seem to get that pin uh that pin roll there hurt two Spinebuster three again, hurt two. Nope, she's still not be able to get it. Hanging choke in corner two, hurt two. Licking knife edge chop two. Mildred Burke reversing it on level two. Into the ropes, tosses Trish into the ropes. You come off the ropes with a powerful flying shoulder tackle roll on level two offense. Trish takes over, hits a big spine buster for three. Hurt two. Can't get that uh, if she wanted to. Into the turnbuckle. She's going to throw tr uh, Mildred Burke into the turnbuckle again. And uh, you bounce forward to the turnbuckle and catch the charging opponent with a skull splitting running lariat. Trish goes down hard and um, will roll on level three defense. Hurt two. Mildred now back in control, uh, at least for the time being. Hurt two. Wow, what a match this has come out to be. A uh, suplex three, down three. If Mildred gets that alligator clutch, there it is. A plus four, and a nine is the target. And with the alligator clutch, Mildred Burke is able to get it. All right, so there we go we will head back here we will enter the fall information for this match mildred burke uh trish beats trish submission via the alligator clutch uh and let's see what was our i know mildred had one fatigue what was trish at she was at three fatigue uh, so that will be a two-star match for that. Unless Jay Sanudo is in here, and I, I will defer to him as the, uh, as, as the thing. And I'm just going to type great back and forth match to open the show. Uh, all right. So there we go. Rerolling uh, or reloading here. We'll get ready for our next match, which is this is the fans' choice match. This is the match you voted on. I asked you who you wanted to see. I gave you a list of uh, options, and this is who you wanted to see. We'll bring Bobby Heenan out with King Kong Bundy. These were the top two vote getters. Uh, Magnum TA versus King Kong Bundy. Let me look back in the chat because I know there was a lot of discussion going on. Uh, Jeffrey is saying that concessions charged me 17 bucks for a, 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 a PBR. Tall boy. Uh, and Tons I can't believe former Philadelphia Eagles kicker David Akers is a patron. That's awesome. Huge get. Uh, so a lot of complaining here about the... Um, about the concession stands. We'll see what we can do. Uh, I think everybody who buys a ticket should at least get a free beverage, uh, don't you? All right, so here we go with our match. Let's roll Magnum TA versus King Kong Bundy. Rolling for initiative with that sneaky Bobby Heenan in the corner of King Kong Bundy. We've got to keep an eye on him. But it looks like Magnum TA will start things off here. And hits a vertical suplex, too. It's an agility move. He hits a vertical vertical suplex on King Kong Bundy. That is a hell of a way to uh, start a match. Level 2 defense, dazed 1. Bundy's dazed, as anyone would be. Fireman's carry, 1. King Kong Bundy now reversing it on level two. Hits a body slam for three. Uh-oh. Down three. Oh, no. Uh, out of the ring. Tosses Magnum TA out of the ring. And he crawls helplessly back in as Bundy rolls on level three offense. Backbreaker three. Wow, big moves here from Bundy. Rolls on level two now uh, with an eye gouge. And Magnum TA reversing that on level two. And hit some right jabs on Bundy. Uh, Bundy, though, shakes off those jabs, pretty much ineffective, and locks Magnum TA in a bear hug. Oh, no, we're rolling the pin already. The target is two. The roll is a five. Magnum TA at one fatigue token as King Kong Bundy rolls on level three offense and just decides to toss Magnum TA out of the ring in a show of supremacy. And Magnum TA crawls helplessly back in as Bundy rolls on level three offense and going to hit a choice G, which is either a death jump 
or a tombstone pile driver. That's what he's going to go for. This will work on a roll of eight or less. Is a six. He gets it. Uh, Magnum TA gets a hurt too. Bundy dominating this match here. Into the turnbuckle, tosses TA into the turnbuckle. Crushed by a big kick, opponent rolls on level two offense. Bundy locks in that bear hug, really working on the ribs of Magnum TA. Hurt two, eye gouge two. Wow, what a what a match here. Hurt two. And uh, both these men looking for a win here. Uh, in their debut matches since the tournament. Uh, you come off the ropes with powerful flying shoulder tackle roll on level two offense. Magnum TA hits a running forearm three on Bundy. Bundy is hurt. Uh, Bobby Heenan looking a little nervous now. Is this the big comeback? It looks like it. Drop kicks three. Hurt two. Magnum TA hits some more drop kicks on Bundy. Uh, and he is going to roll his pin. I'm not going to have Heenan interfere yet. Because his roll is only a three. Uh, the roll, the target is a three. The roll is a seven. So Bundy now one fatigue as Magnum TA hits a big comeback here. And Joyce E uh, is going to work. Uh, Scorpion Deathlock will roll uh, work on a 12 or less. I wonder if this will work. It does work. All right, level three defense for Bundy. Down three, leave the ring. You better believe Bundy will leave the ring. But he crawls helplessly back in. Shades of what was happening earlier as Magnum TA hits a big atomic drop on King Kong Bundy. And Bundy goes tumbling out of the ring again and then crawls helplessly back in before the 10 count. Uh, here's the belly-to-belly -belly suplex. He gets Bundy up in a belly-to-belly -belly suplex. This is a plus three. We are going to have... Bobby Heenan interfere here. So we will roll two dice uh, at this moment. And the roll is an eight. Uh, Heenan trips up the opponent as allowing his wrestler to attack from behind. Heenan's wrestler rolls on level two offense. Okay, so we will add one fatigue token to Bundy. But now Bundy, because of Heenan's interference, attacks Magnum TA from behind and locks in the bear hug. Holy moly. Down three, leave the ring. Magnum TA gets to the ropes, gets out of the ring. He grabs Bundy by the leg, drags him out of the ring, smashes him into the turnbuckle post, and will now roll on level three offense. Belly to belly suplex again. All right. Heenan is going to try his distractor rating, which his distractor rating is an eight so here we go we are rolling and it is a nine so no distractor the the referee uh, just ignores him so here we go rolling the pin this will be a i believe a seven or less no an eight or less Ooh, and the roll is a 10 so bundy able to get out but not doing well um and uh magnum ta rolling again death jump climbs to the top leaps off on bundy the opponent climbs to the top but bundy recovers and throws magnum ta off the turnbuckle and rolls on level three offense and then tosses him out of the ring uh the opponent comes out of the ring a wild brawl erupts the wrestler with a better ring rating they're equal uh so that means bundy will roll on level three offense and hits the Atlantic City Avalanche. All right, he's got to successfully roll this twice. Here we go. Uh, so it's a plus four. So the first one is successful. We got to roll it again. He needs a seven or less. And the roll is an 11. So Magnum TA able to kick out as Bundy rolls on level three offense and hits a choice G, which is either a death jump um, or he's going to do this tombstone pile driver that'll work on an eight or less. What a match. It does work. Magnum TA still in the game here, but he's got a, he needs a reversal bad hurt two into the turnbuckle. Bunty throws Magnum TA into the turnbuckle. The opponent charges you with a running shoulder dive. Magnum TA moves Bundy out of the ring and has to roll on the out of the ring chart. The opponent comes out of the ring. A wild brawl erupts. Both wrestlers rode disqualification. All right, Magnum TA, not disqualified. King Kong Bundy, and Heenan cannot help him here. Uh, King Kong Bundy rolling DQ. So neither men disqualified. So we will roll one die to see who takes over. It is even. So that means Magna. Oh, no, that means Bundy will roll on level three offense. And tosses Magnum TA back outside of the ring. The opponent comes out of the ring to the fight, but you grab him, smash him the announce table. The referee may disqualify Magnum TA. 
He is not disqualified. Uh, tosses Bundy back in the ring. We'll roll on level three offense. Uh, sleeper hold choice E. Uh, so he's going to try this Scorpion Deathlock, which will work on a 12 or less. So it'll pretty much work, but we roll the dice just for fun. And uh, Mighty Murr is here. Hello, my friend. Welcome. Level three defense hurt two. Uh, and Magnum TA rolling with some right jabs two hurt two. Man, this is, this is so far, uh, what two great matches here. Um, King Kong Bundy reversing it on level two. Hits a body slam for three. Down three. Can Bundy put him away? Backbreaker three. Pin. Here we go. We're rolling the pin. The target is a four. The roll is a five. So uh, we will, uh, he is now at three fatigue as Bundy rolls on level three offense. Hits a backbreaker. For three, hurt two, bear hug three, hurt two, body slam three. What a match. Hurt two, King Kong Bundy keeping the pressure on. Eye gouge two, hurt two, Bundy uh, into the ropes, tosses Magnum TA into the ropes. You come off the ropes with a powerful flying shoulder tackle roll on level two offense. Magnum TA reversing it here. Right jabs two. Dazed one. We're going back up to the top of the card. Uh, vertical suplex two. Agility. He, of course, does have the agility, so that will work. Always impressive to see Magnum TA lift Bundy off his feet. Right jabs two. King Kong Bundy now reversing it on level two into the turnbuckle. Tosses Magnum TA into the turnbuckle. He's crushed by a big kick, and Bundy rolls on level two offense and again throws him into the turnbuckle. And he's crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense again. Hits an eye gouge. Magnum TA shakes off that eye gouge. Rolls on level two offense. Backdrop two. Hurt two. Wow. Back and forth here like crazy. Leg drop two. Hurt two. Uh, big splash two choice A. So into the ropes, his ropes is a C. That's what he's going to do. You come out the ropes and the opponent puts you down with a running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Uh, running forearm three, hurt two. Can Magnum TA, who is back in control here, keep the pressure on? He does with a running forearm. And uh, Bundy is still hurt. Backdrop two, hurt two. No one for Bundy to tag to because Big John Stud's not in the game. King Kong Bundy, though, reversing it on level two with an eye gouge. And uh, Hurt 2 for Magnum TA. Uh, into the ropes. Tosses Magnum TA into the ropes. The opponent uses one of his specialty moves on you and goes in for the kill. Opponent rolls on level 3 offense. Can Bundy do it here? Out of the ring. No, he opts to throw Magnum TA out of the ring. Magnum crawls helplessly back in as Bundy rolls again and throws him right back out of the ring, showing his superiority. Uh, Magnum TA crawls back in to meet the count. Bundy getting a little break there. Backbreaker three. Here we go. Rolling the pin. The target here is a five. The roll is a six. Still can't put Magnum TA away. <clears throat> uh, hits the choice G. Uh, and it's either a death jump or tombstone pile driver. He's going to go with that. It'll work on an eight or less. Gets a two, so it does work. Magnum TA rolling on level three defense. Only hurt two. Punch to the head. Bundy now just resorting to punches in the head. Uh, hurt two. And locks in the bear hug here. Uh, hurt two. And into the turnbuckle. Uh, so we are going to toss... Uh, no, wait. Uh, uh, Magnum TA goes into the turnbuckle. You are crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. And into the ropes, tosses Magnum TA into the ropes again. The opponent gets you in position for a back body drop, but you grab and hit him with a pile driver. Roll on level three offense. Big reversal for Magnum TA. Out of the ring. Is he going to throw him out of the ring? His ring is a B. He's going to do it. Magnum TA is fed up at this point. Tosses Bundy out of the ring. Now it's Bundy crawling helplessly back in as Magnum TA rolls here. Gets the choice E again. He's going to do the Scorpion Death Lock, which will work on a 12 or less. It's a futile effort to roll the dice, but we're going to do it anyway. Level 3 defense. Down 3. Can Magnum TA hit a big finish here? Locks in the abdominal stretch. Hurt 2. 
Wow, this match. What a match here. Drop kicks three, hurt two. Magnum TA uh, hits a big splash, but it's a choice A. So into the ropes, that's what he's going to do. Uh, you call out the ropes, and the opponent puts you down with a running back elbow. Opponent rolls on level two offense. And a big splash, choice A again. He is going to throw him again into the ropes. Alex, welcome. You come off the ropes, and the opponent puts you down with a hard back elbow. Yep, again, so we'll roll on level two offense. Drop kicks three. Bundy now rolling on level three. Hurt two. Uh, Heenan must be losing his mind at ringside. <laughs> right jabs two. King Kong Bundy reversing it on level two. Tosses Magnum TA into the turnbuckle. You bounce forward in the turnbuckle into an incredible neck-breaking clothesline. Bundy rolling on level three offense here. And here it is, the big avalanche. A plus four move. He has to roll this successfully twice. You know he wants that five count. Uh, so here the target is ten. The first roll does work. Rolling again. The second roll does work. And with the Atlantic City Avalanche, ladies and gentlemen, King Kong Bundy is your winner in a heck, heck, heck of a match uh, here. King Kong Bundy wins pinfall uh, after the Avalanche. I'm just calling it the Avalanche. And five count... Uh, that was a fantastic match. Let's see what the official rating is. Uh, so let's see. Magnum TA was at a... He must have been at a four. And Bundy was at a three. So four stars. There you go. I'm going to say four stars. Four stars match there. That might be match of the night. All right. Uh, I will say, I will say, that was a hell of a match, says Mr. Baseman. And so when I post this on the boards, it'll have that quote in it. Uh, so there you go, because that's exactly what uh, was said there. All right. So that was your fans' choice match of the night. We will launch the game table for our big tag team match now of course this match came about uh because of last week's endeavors uh when uh our guest steve tower chose too cool as the tag team that would come out and start harassing um uh that would start that would come out and start harassing uh, uh, uh the midnight express so welcome, everybody. Great to have you here. Thank you all for watching. Uh, Mighty Murr, thank you for watching. Mighty Murr, I will say, if you were still watching, uh, being a good accountability party partner, have you done everything you need to do? I know you got a big deadline looming this week, and I'm just trying to be a friend. I'm not doing that uh, to guilt you. I'm just saying I'm your friend. So there you go. All right, so we got two cool versus the Midnight Express here in uh, this match. And we will say that uh, Scott Taylor... Because I signed Scott Taylor to Legends of Wrestling. We'll say Scott Taylor is going to start with Dennis Condry. So we will we will we will go across here for this first match. And we will roll our initiative. I don't know if I rang the bell for the last match, but uh that was it. And uh it looks like Dennis Condry will have things. Oh, excellent! Ladies and gentlemen, Mer Lafferty turned in her book today. Congratulations. Mer is awesome. If you don't know Mer, she's an amazing author. Uh, you can look up Mer Lafferty um, for all her uh, amazing books. She did the adaptation for uh, the Solo movie. She wrote that book, the, the, the book adaptation of the movie Solo, and lots of other things. And she just turned in her next book. So congratulations, my friend. And it looks like Dennis Condry will start things off here and roll on level one offense. Take down and rub face to Matt one. Scott T Taylor worms his way out of that one and rolls on level two and hits a choice B. Sorry, I got a little window here that's blocking. All right, so choice B is either into the turnbuckle, which is turnbuckle is A, or agility. Uh, he he will try the agility here, so this will work on an eight or less. And the roll is a seven, so it does work. Dennis Condry rolls. Dennis Condry reversing it on level one uh, and hits a body slam choice F of his own. 
Uh, and he is going to try this. That'll work on a nine or less. The roll is an eight, so it does work. Scotty Taylor rolling level three defense. Hurt two. Shut up, Siri. Uh, choke on ropes two. Down three. Dennis Condry uh, shoulder power slam three. Down three, leave the ring. Scott Taylor leaves the ring and crawls helplessly back in as Dennis Condry rolls on level three offense and he hits a brain buster choice D. So that'll be death jump or uh, a tombstone pile driver, which is what he's going to go for because this will work on a roll of 10 or less. It is a 10, so it does work. Scott Taylor rolling on level three defense. Hurt two. Uh, Dennis Condry rolls into the turnbuckle, tosses Scotty Taylor into the turnbuckle, but Scott Taylor reverses it, tosses Dennis Condry into the turnbuckle. You are crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Uh, we're going to say Scott Taylor. Uh, you know what, though? I, I want to have him do one move, and what a move it is. Super kick three. Wow, amazing there. Hurt two. He tags in Brian Christopher. Brian Christopher will roll on level two. Uh, power slam two. Uh, it's a power move, so Dennis Condry reverses it and hits a big knee drop. And uh, he is going to try and tag out. He needs a six or less. He gets a three. Scott Taylor will come in on level one. Hip toss two. It is a power move, so Dennis Condry will uh, hit that with a gut wrench suplex. Three. Scott Taylor hurt two. Dennis Condry tags out to Bobby Eaton, who rolls on level two. Uh, into the ropes, tosses Scott Taylor into the ropes. Uh, the wrestler, a big shoulder tackle, but worse, which wrestler is more powerful? Uh, they have equal power. So uh, that means that Bobby Eaton will roll on level two offense and hits a vertical suplex to, oops, why did I click on Dennis Condry's? I wish I could put the tag teams on either side here. Um, so ignore that Dennis Condry result there. Hurt two. Bob Eaton rolling on level two. Stinging right hand two. Scott Taylor rolls a hurt two. Uh, spinning neckbreaker choice E, which is a scorpion deathlock. It'll work on an eight or less. He's going to go for that. This will work on an eight or less. The roll is a 10. It doesn't work. Scott Taylor reverses it with a back suplex three. Hurt two. Scott Taylor back in control, spinning head scissors two. Bobby Eaton reversing it, rolls on level two offense uh, and gets the choice E again. He is going to go for, oops, I hit the wrong thing, but he's going to go for this Scorpion Deathlock again. Needs an eight. He thinks he can get it this time. He does not get it. He should just have not tried. Scott Taylor hits some spinning head scissors too. And Hurt 2 tags in Brian Christopher. Brian Christopher throws Bobby Eaton into the ropes. You come out the ropes with a powerful flying shoulder tackle roll. Level 2 offense. Big reversal by Bobby Eaton. Spinning neck breaker again. Why? You're not going to... Yeah, yeah, you're not going to get it. Uh, so you're going to roll this, which will be a level 2 move. We're on a 10 or less. Uh, that time he would have gotten it. Brian Christopher reverses that on level 1. Back and forth here. Back and forth. Drop kick 2 agility. But Bobby Eaton has the agility, so he will roll in level two offense into the ropes, tosses Brian Christopher into the ropes, but Brian Christopher comes off with a powerful flying shoulder tackle and will roll on level two offense. Uh, Bobby Eaton trying to make the tag, standing leg drop three, down three tag. He's going to try and make the tag. He needs a six or less. Nine does not work. Brian Christopher rolls and throws him out of the ring. But uh, Bobby Eaton crawls helplessly back in as Brian Christopher rolls on level three offense. Sit out power bomb choice D. Uh, yeah, he will roll this Cobra Clutch Suplex, which will work on an 11 or less. And he does get it. So that's a level three move there. Hurt two. Uh, standing leg drop three. Amazing, amazing. Down three, leave the ring. You better believe Bobby Eaton will bail out of the ring. Grabs Brian Christopher, smashes him into the turnbuckle post, throws him back in, and will roll on level three offense out of the ring. Uh, what are his stats? Now, he is going to roll up. He is not going. Uh, stinging right hand, two. He's not going to try and throw him out of the ring. Brian Christopher reversing it, rolling on level two. Power slam, two. Uh, it is a power move, but that will work. Bobby Eaton rolls on level two. Bobby Eaton reversing it. What a match here. All these matches tonight have been great. Uh, choice B. So either into the turnbuckle, which his turnbuckle is a B. Uh, that's what he is going to go for. He is going to toss Brian Christopher into the turnbuckle. 
And uh, you crush by a big kick by the opponent. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Bobby Eaton is going to tag out to Dennis Condry, who will roll the atomic drop three. Uh, hurt two. Dennis Condry now uh, hits a knee drop two. Hurt two tag. Uh, Brian Christopher going to try and make the tag. Needs a six or less. Doesn't get it as Dennis Condry continues his assault into the turnbuckle. Throws Brian Christopher into the turnbuckle. You lift a knee on the oncoming opponent's head. He has hurt. Roll on level two offense. Brian Christopher reversing it. Uh, power slam two. Uh, Dennis Condry is going to be able to reverse that power slam and roll on level two offense and hit a big gut red suplex three. Hurt two. Holy moly. Neither of these teams can get any purchase on the other. Atomic drop three, down three, tag, leave the ring. He is going to try and tag out. Needs a six or less. Doesn't get it. Dennis Condry rolling on level three offense. Shoulder power slam three. Hurt two. Dennis Condry choke on ropes two. Hurt two, tag. He is going to try and tag out again. He does get it. Scotty Taylor comes in at level one offense and hits a drop toe hold two agility, and that will work on Dennis Condry. And Dennis Condry now going to try and tag out. Uh, he does get it, gets the six. So Bobby Eaton comes in on level one offense and tries a standing choke power move. They are equal power, so that does work. Uh, and Scotty Taylor now rolling on level two. To down three. Can Bobby Eaton capitalize on this? Top rope elbow three. Oh, we're rolling the pin here. All right, so we are going to roll on the pin save chart here and see what happens. The roll is a five. Your tag partner breaks up the pin. Add one to your pin rating. And uh, Bobby Eaton will now roll on level two offense. These must be other charts than I'm used to. These must be one set old charts, pin save charts. Vertical suplex two. Scott Taylor rolls hurt two. Is going to try and tag out. Does not get it as Bobby Eaton rolls on level two offense and hits a vertical suplex again. And hurt two. He's going to try and tag out again. Is he going to be able to do it? Uh, he is able to do it. Brian Christopher now coming in on level one offense with a flying forearm smash. Two. Hurt two tag. Bobby Eaton going to try and make the tag now. Does not get it. As Brian Christopher rolls an Inziguri two. Hurt two. Bulldog three. Big move here against Bobby Eaton. Bobby Eaton down three. Leave the ring. He is going to leave the ring. Uh, but crawls helplessly back in as Brian Christopher rolls on level three offense. Out of the ring. Oh, wait. He's got an asterisk next to that out of the ring. Once per match, Christopher can execute a sunset flip powerbomb on the floor. Opponent adds one to his pin rating and rolls on level three defense. Well, uh, let's do that now. So uh, we will say that he does that. Bobby Eaton gets one fatigue token, rolls on level three defense. Down three tag. Eaton's desperately trying to make the tag. Doesn't get it as Brian Christopher rolls a sit-out powerbomb choice D. Uh, what is the power rating as a plus two? So this will work on an 11 or less, this Cobra Clutch Suplex. It does work. Level three, uh, only a hurt two there. Into the turnbuckle, tosses Bobby Eaton into the turnbuckle, but Bobby Eaton reverses it, tosses Brian Christopher into the turnbuckle, and uh, he is crushed by a big kick as Bobby Eaton rolls on level two offense. Spinning neckbreaker three, choice E. So his agility, so that would work on a seven or less. He's going to go for it. He's going to try and hit this seven. It may not work, and it doesn't work as Brian Christopher rolls on level two offense. Uh, power slam two. Power. He does have the power, so that does work. Uh, hurts two. Tag. Bobby Eaton desperately trying to make the tag. Does not get it as Brian Christopher rolls on level two and hits an Enziguri two. Hurt two. Going to try and tag out one more time here. Uh, and it does not work. Brian Christopher rolling on level two. Power slam two power. Uh, he does have the power, so that does work. Neither of these teams able to get a big move on each other. Hurt two. Tag. He is going to try and tag out. He does, is able to tag out. Dennis Condry coming in now. Makes the hot tag. Hits a, a quick jab. Uh, we'll see how hot this turns out to be. <laughs> Dazed one. Quick jab, another big quick jab. Brian Christopher shaking it off, rolling on level one. Slap and dance one. 
Oh, no. Hurt, too. Brian Christopher and Zaguri on Dennis Condry. Dennis Condry going to try and tag out again. And he is able to tag out. So Bobby Eaton now is shifting the momentum back and hits a headlock and punch one. And dazed one tag. Brian Christopher going to try and tag out here. Gets a nine. He's not able to tag out. So Bobby Eaton rolling. Uh, gets Locks him in an arm bar. And Hurt 2, Bobby Eaton do, hits Divorce Court 3, level 3 defense, and we're rolling the pin. I am not going to do a pin save here because they only have one pin save left, and this target is a 3, so I'm hoping he will be able to kick out, and he does. He will get one fatigue token there, and now Bobby Eaton will roll on level 3 offense, Death Jump climbs up to the top. Uh, the opponent blasts you with a flying clothesline from the top. You're in trouble. Opponent rolls on level three offense. So here we go. Death Jump again. Another Death Jump climbs to the top, leaps off. Uh, and again, a big flying clothesline from the top. Bobby Eaton rolling on level three offense out of the ring. He is going to roll up instead and hits Divorce Court three. Hurt two. Uh, what are... Sorry, I'm just looking. Okay, they both have two finishers there. Oh, no. In tag matches, this is an Alex Benjamin. is not a finisher. Okay. Uh, so he is going to tag out. Uh, Bobby Eaton is going to tag out to Dennis Condry. And Dennis Condry is going to throw Brian Christopher into the turnbuckle. Uh, you're crushed by a big kick. Opponent rolls on level two offense. Uh, Dennis Condry is in there. Into the ropes tosses Brian Christopher into the ropes. You come off the ropes with a powerful flying shoulder tackle roll. Level 2 offense. Brian Christopher now back in control. Power slam 2, but Dennis Condry is more powerful, so he will roll on level 2 offense. Into the ropes. Tosses Brian Christopher in the ropes again. The opponent drops down. Roll again on this chart. And you come off the ropes with a powerful flying shoulder tackle roll. On level 2 offense. Um, Bulldog 3. Dennis Condry rolling 3. Down 3. Rolling for a tag. He does get it. As Bobby Eaton rolls in on level one, what a, we are getting close to the uh, to the time limit here of this TV time match. Uh, standing choke to power. Uh, Brian Christopher has better power, so he will roll on level two offense and hits a big bulldog on Bobby Eaton. Bobby Eaton hurt two. Uh, standing leg drop three on Bobby Eaton. Hurt two. Tags in Scott Taylor. Scott Taylor rolling on level two offense and hits a big back suplex for three. Hurt two. Can they keep the pressure on? Flying forearm smash two. Hurt two tag. He's going to try and tag out. Needs a six or less. The roll is a seven, so it doesn't work. Scott Taylor gets some spinning head scissors two. Hurt two. Uh, tag. He is going to try and tag. He does make the tag. Dennis Condry now in at level one. Quick jab one. Uh, let's see. Scott Taylor is in here. Uh, Scott Taylor reversing it, ducking that quick jab and reversing it. Spinning head scissors two. Uh, Dennis Condry now reversing it on level two offense. Knee drop two. Uh, and we were on level two defense there. Hurt two. Who knew? Who would know that these two teams would go this long? Uh, atomic drop three. So Scotty Taylor rolling on level three defense. Hurt two. Can't get him down. Knee drop two. Can't get a finisher. Can't get him down. Hurt two. And into the turnbuckle. Tosses Scotty Taylor into the turnbuckle. You bounce forward off the turnbuckle and catch the opponent with a skull splitting lariat. He goes down hard. Uh, Dennis Condry now rolling on level three defense. Hurt two. Neither team can really, really do any damage to the other. Uh, down three. There you go. Can Scotty Taylor hit this? Hits the worm. Okay, what is roll two dice on rolls of 10 through 12? The move is not successful. So we're rolling two dice here. So it is successful. So this will be a four or less. Uh, they... They are not going to try a pin save yet. They are going to try their pin, save their pin save. So the pin target will be four. The roll is an 11. Dennis Condry gets another fatigue token. What are Brian Christopher's stats? Pretty much the same. Uh, all right. So we will roll. Scotty Taylor will roll in level three offense again. 
out of the ring, tosses Dennis Condry out of the ring, uh, and Dennis Condry calls helplessly back in as Scott Taylor rolls on a level three offense. Death jump. Uh, <laughs> that's right. Fans are starting to head to the back uh, for a bathroom break. The opponent tries a spectacular move, but I, oh no, the referee, <laughs> the referee gets knocked out. Uh, all right. So we will roll two dice here to see for how long. Eight, eight moves. All right. We will roll one die to see who gets in control here. Uh, five. That's an odd roll. So that is, uh, you are still down. The opponent goes for the kill. So this is Scott Taylor. Here we go. Three moves out of the ring. It tosses Dennis Condry out of the ring. Uh, <laughs> uh, in order to meet the referee's count, you call helplessly back in. Scott Taylor out of the ring again, throws Dennis Condry out of the ring. The opponent crushes you with a spectacular move outside the ring. Roll count out. Uh, well, there's no count out, but we will add a fatigue token. Here's the third move. Uh, death jump. Uh, goes the top. The opponent climbs the top, but you recover. Throw him off the turnbuckle. He goes down hard. Roll on level three offense. Here comes the fourth move. Uh, a shoulder power slam three. Hurt two. Here's the fifth move. Knee drop two. Hurt two. Here's the sixth move. Gut wrench suplex three. Hurt two. Here is the seventh move. Gut wrench suplex three again. And can't the ref, they're one move short of the ref coming back. So he's going to get one fatigue token then. And here is the eighth move. And uh, the, so this is technically it's the eighth move. So there's no pin count there, but we'll add another fatigue token. And the ref is back up. And here it is. Dark side three. What is the uh roll one die let's see what it is here the roll is a one so this is an elbow slingshot three so it is not a pin move uh you know what i'm gonna say i'm gonna say the ref is gonna call it the ref is gonna call the match disqualifies both teams uh and so that will set up a, a rematch that we'll have at some point down the line uh the ref tired of being knocked out and tired of the match going on uh so we will enter the fall information for this match it ends in a draw who was in the ring that was scott taylor and dennis condry uh and uh Man, I don't know. What do you say with this? I, a two-star match? Sure. Uh, and I'm going to say this was a slog of a match. Mercifully, the ref called it. <laughs> and I will spell mercifully right because Murr is watching. All right. It is time for our uh, interview segment here. I just realized I did not get out of here. I don't want to see the four of you uh, again. I'm not happy with you either, Jim Cornette. Uh, let's see. I need to call up. Let's see. Uh, exotic Adrian Street, because he is being interviewed here. Ooh, that's the other exotic. Okay, it doesn't matter for this, but I got to remember to switch that out because that is not the color exotic Adrian Street card. Uh, exotic Adrian Street is with our good friend Gordon Soley. We're going to roll two dice on Gordon Soley's card, and the roll is a 12. Uh, it is a Pier 6 Brawl. The wrestler is ambushed by his rival. Roll one dice to see who wins. So we will roll one die here. It is an odd number. The rival wins the brawl. The loser of the brawl is injured. Roll one die to see how many cards they are injured. I'm going to say this is Gorgeous George came out and uh, attacked Exotic Adrian Street because I just love the idea of those two going up against each other. Uh, Exotic Adrian Street injured for four cards after uh, this match. So we'll say uh, Street... 
All right. Thanks, Thad. Uh, Thomas, TK, uh, I appreciate it. Um, thanks for checking in. I know that match went way too long, um, <laughs> that tag match. But we're headed into the main event here. Uh, injured for four cards. Okay, there we go. All right, it is time for our main event. Mercifully, our main event, ladies and gentlemen. Now, um, here's the thing with the main event is that this is a dog collar match between these two. <clears throat> uh, nobody is at ringside. Get out of here. Get out of here. You're injured. Okay. Nobody is at ringside. And uh, there's no... I don't have the dog collar match rules online, so I can't display them on the screen. But I do have... My copy of the Legends of Wrestling Ringside Companion right here. So that will be out and open. And basically what it states for the dog collar match is that there's no DQs or countouts. All regular game charts work because the chain is long enough for the usual moves. The match is for single matches only. I always wondered how a dog collar tag team match. I'm sure some promoter somewhere has done one. Um... Typically, no other wrestlers or managers are allowed at ringside. When a wrestler rolls on any move followed by a choice situation, uh, ignore that instruction and roll on this chart. So when we hit a choice chart, I will uh, roll on here and then I'll have to read the result. Uh, but here we go. These two men hate each other. We are rolling for initiative and it looks like Mass Superstar gets it into the turnbuckle, tosses Jack Briscoe into the turnbuckle and Briscoe reverses it. Tosses Mass Superstar in. You bounce forward and turn buckle into an incredible neck breaking clothesline. Opponent rolls on level three offense. Holy moly. Right off the top, Thez Press Choice G. All right, so we're going to roll two dice here. Uh, the roll is a five. The wrestler on offense tries to clothesline the opponent, but he misses, and the opponent clotheslines him instead. The opponent rolls on level three offense. So Mass Superstar reversing things here. Jumping knee smash to choice C. So now Mass Superstar rolling on here, and the roll is a 10. The wrestler on offense tries to whip the opponent into the ring post, but the move is reversed, and the wrestler on offense gets smashed into the ring post. The opponent rolls on level three offense. Back and forth here. Thez Press, choice G. So we're rolling again on the chart. It is a 10, so this is another reversal. And Mass Superstar will roll on level three offense. Then hits the swinging neck breaker. And the target is two. The roll is a seven. So no pin there as Mass Superstar continues his assault with a Superstar clothesline with the chain. Her two. Um, and into the ropes. Uh, yeah, so throws Jack Briscoe into the ropes. Uh, the opponent tries a running clothesline, but so do you. The result is a double clothesline. The wrestler with the better ropes rating, that's Briscoe, recovers and rolls on level three offense. Uh, hits a gut wrench backbreaker on the chain. Uh, three down three. Uh, gut wrench backbreaker on the chain again. Three down three. Leave the ring. He will leave the ring, uh, but crawls helplessly back in. Jack Briscoe drags him, drags him by the neck back into the ring and we'll roll on level three offense and we'll now roll on the chain charge the dog collar chart the roll is a five the wrestler on offense tries to clothesline the opponent but he misses the opponent clotheslines him instead the opponent rolls on level three offense mass superstar back now and he is going to be rolling on the chain chart uh and it is a four the wrestler on offense clothesline the opponent with the chain the wrestler on offense rolls on level three offense and out of the ring, tosses Jack Briscoe out of the ring. The opponent comes out of the ring to continue to fight, but you grab him, smash him onto the announce table. There's no DQs here. He throws Mass Superstar back into the ring. Jack Briscoe now rolling on level three offense. Gut wrench backbreaker three. Down three, leave the ring. Mass Superstar is going to bail. He's trying everything to, to get some um, reversal here. You grab the opponent out of the leg. He does reverse it. Uh, smashes him into the turnbuckle post and will roll on level three offense. Uh, here we go, rolling on the chain chart again. The roll is an eight. It's up to you. Imagine a deadly move the wrestler on offense can do to the poor hapless opponent. Add one to the opponent's pin rating. So Jack Briscoe now at two fatigue. We're going to say, I always love that move where they hang him over the ropes. So we'll say that that's, that's what uh, that was. And Mass Superstar rolling on level three offense. Hits the Superstar clothesline three. 
Did I not click that? I guess not. Hurt two. Mass Superstar uh, hits a double thrust two. Jack Briscoe now reversing it on level two. Deep arm drag two. Hurt two. Jack Briscoe hits a suplex assortment. It's a lovely assortment of suplexes available at your local grocer. Down three, leave the ring. He is able to leave the ring. Uh, you grab the opponent by the leg, drag him out of the ring, smash him into the turnbuckle. Mass Superstar reversing it. Uh, and we'll roll on the chart here. The roll is a six. Whiplash. The wrestler on offense whips the opponent across the ring by the throat. The wrestler on defense rolls on level three defense. Uh, hurt two. Mass Superstar keeping the pressure on. Flying cross chop three. And we're rolling the pin here. All right. So the target is a four. The roll is a four. And there you go. After the flying cross chop with... Uh, the, uh, with the chain, um, we have a winner. Mass Superstar is able to do it. Uh, pinfall after, what was it again? A flying cross chop with the chain. All right. And to rate this match, let's see. There wasn't a ton of fatigue. He was at two, and Mass Superstar was... So it was two, uh, one for the... I'll say one for the feud match. Uh, so we'll say it was a two-star match. Not the greatest. Um, and there you go. Uh, let's see. I'm going to... I'm going to... I wish I could copy and paste this. Uh... Superstar doesn't get paid by the hour. Mark T. So your quote will be in there. Uh, and we'll say, uh, damn, that was fast. <laughs> by Kamala. Two, one, one, one. All right. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Now, as I normally like to do, if you will indulge me, let's check out our rankings. I always love to look at the rankings right after. Oh, you know what I want to do, though? Really first, uh, fast before we do this, we're going to wrap up here. We're going to wrap up. But I want to make sure that I put that this match... Uh, not mass prestige. Nah, never mind. Uh, okay, so here we go. Let's look at some rankings and see where everybody is standing after this match. So we've got our champion, Shane Douglas, our women's champion, Jazz. we got to have that title match with Jazz um, here. So let's see. Rankings. Uh, top 10 for the last year, but not... Four seven. We want March. What is today? Today's the thirtieth. All right. Let's let's check out our rankings here. See if there's been any movement. Come on, COTG online. I got people watching. Uh, so Mass Superstar moving up into third place. Maybe he's in line for a title shot. I don't know. We shall see. Uh, no movement here in the tag team ranks. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it. But coming up next week is uh, the Tournament of Legends will continue with our one night only tournament for our vintage, our, our expansion seven wrestlers. Uh, and the winner will get a title shot against Shane Douglas. So uh, that will happen next week. I hope you will join me. Uh, which I think is April 6th, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but thank you so much for tuning in tonight. Uh, go check out all the other videos on the channel. Uh, congratulations, Murr, on finishing your book. Thank you to Murr, Dale, Mark, Kamala, TK, Jeffrey, Mr. Baseman, Alex, uh, and anybody else. I'm, I, I, I think I got everybody there. Everybody who was watching. Todd, thank you for being here. Um... I think that's it. Thomas Morgan, thank you as well. All right. That's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much. I will talk to you next time.